professional level, at youth level. And many players here making their first. And Zalif, as I said, with a little. And uh, a vital foot in from Barton, another. Just. No problems for Agbeam. He looks to find a mob. Francis. Another ball looking for Boyan in the centre. Boyan, I imagine, be one of the players that will be. Team involves Hidians, the ball in possession of the Nigerians. Nigerian wife in Turkey. So for the moment, Catalonia. With the system of attack. Well, last four there looking a very, very useful addition to Hatland since uh, coming over from Rangers International of Penugu. And Hatland, that. The desertion boys coming forward, but uh, they seem to fizzle out uh, just on getting to that 18 yard line. And, uh, well. And it's free kick now to Hatland. Benjamin Francis, a good player, no doubt. Hatland with a counter now coming forward. Benjamin Francis. He's not, uh, which has really not been much in evidence today. Could this be the turning point in this game? He takes it a good one, and what you would have thought from this angle that it actually sailed into the net, that it just skips the upright. I mean, they had the crossbar, and uh, it's another respite for Ocean Boys. It was certainly a better kick than the first and almost uh, crept into the top corner. Good technique, floated it towards uh, the edge of the upright, uh, but uh, it just cleared the upright and the crossbar. But uh, Ocean Boys, they have... Manuel Oluwo, Oluwo across to Benjamin Francis. Osazo could... Seeing that no goal scored, it's half time in Worry, and it is Worry Wolves 3. You got a goal... Wait. That was attempted, another hand going up, uh, asking for a penalty call. But Sani Mohammed surging through. Very good dribbler, and what a shot, what a save. You might want to say that the red goalkeeper was just in the right place at the right time. But that was fantastic football from Sani Mohammed. And good penetration as well from Francis Benjamin. He walks through the first two players, set himself up nicely, smashed the ball in with his left leg, but that man stood his ground. Appreciated by the crowds here. Benjamin Francis with a return. Benjamin Francis. He's seen a lot of the ball here. Numbers, they're not dominant there, but the ball hooked away. Fortunately for Hartman. Stranger in that uh, top position for Hartland. Kingsley Udo, he decides to go back. 
into the net. It would have been a spectacular corner kick indeed from Osaso Kuru. It's of course the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital. Oh, they have a football club though, that has been churning out young. won nine times, the Rangers five, two draws. Uh, but then Rangers uh, looking better so far in this game. But with that through pass coming uh, inspection, you find out that there was no contact at all with his head. In fact, uh, his foot was almost a yard away from the Christopher Chief. In And of course, a good goalkeeping from Ayalogu. And that upside, of course. Hartland uh, looking more and more menacing. Good run. It's the goalkeeper one on one. He puts the goalkeeper out of Z. The goalkeeper gets a contact with him, but the referee is not awarding anything. That was brave goalkeeping. Good reaction. Moment. There's no way he's going to be relaxed. And his team is down by a long. Benjamin Francis with a throw. Benjamin Francis, good left footed player. Ah, and he's slipping through. The flag stays down. The trap comes. It gives glory to God. But let's take a look at how the goal goal came about. A good runner from this side. The Rangers players are inside that 80 yard box. But uh, the man who saw tears rolling down his uh, cheeks right there. The cross came in with a left foot. Uh, good. It's resumed. And uh, a very poor pass again from Rangers. Chine do Sunday, the culprit that time. And uh, it is the kick off time now. And uh, well, we're going to go. Is his twin strike partner, the ball is man. We'll be no disappointed. Uh, the ball comes over now. Uh, for Worry Wolves and of course a tent for Hatland. Hatland won the from uh, Aneke. Very experienced. That's the new man of Koyo. Yellow padded. He knows what a second yellow will mean for him, so he has to be. Good stoppage from Hatland. Uh, the Caterpillar has a more illustrious opponent, of course, beating them three goals to one. Based and counter in this final, actually, do a fast pace. I will see if it will uh, continue that way. As they simply don't seem to know how to stop now. They are on a roller coaster and it will take quite some stopping. Well, at the mini press conference yesterday, the Dominic Ayofa was making a point and he said uh, at some 2 1 against. Uh, Giving the ball away. And had he not interested, and it is Hartland coming back now. Slamming the ball across, and maybe stars indeed. To see this uh, final of the 2012 Federation Cup final, that has uh, really, really uh, living up. He's got a second goal inside the first four minutes, and uh, perhaps that's a strategy that uh, seems to be working for them. Catch them unprepared. Could have done really did better at that time. David Tempkase did a good job at. Hatland, Francis again, Benjamin Francis. And exciting to watch. Benjamin. And there he is when they want to simulate injury. They hold the wrong part of the body. You get the cheat. It comes back. It's Francis Benjamin. Silly red. Oh, good defending there. Beautiful and easy. Mosquito with a back kill. And uh, that land momentarily turning on the style here. Looking quite sharp. Finally, it's a showing 50 50 for the two sides. They've really tried to hang on to possession. Ah, uh, the head got into it, but uh, Hatland, they're asking questions in return now. Benjamin Francis decides to go forward. And uh, the overlaps there. Benjamin Francis still has control. And Benjamin. Sir. Atlant coming backwards, Benjamin Francis, a bit more central now. And he's looking to pull that trigger, I knew he was going to do that. He did just that, but it was uh, not to great effect. But he's certainly coming more into the game after giving away the free kick that led to the goal by Sharks. He does quite uh, have quite a left foot on him there. He kept on trying to shake the shoot, but the Sharks first refused him. Eventually, he had to pull the trigger.
of target, but good attempt nevertheless. Went strong. Benjamin Francis. The AGK made that pass. Well, it would seem that the heavens are beginning to open up gradually, but uh, you can see some looking forward, avoiding that now on the sand episode. Benjamin Francis. Francis Benjamin getting a return from Julius Rubino. Uh, the ball forward flags wielded by this man on the sidelines. Ibn Ebu. Ball across to Benjamin Francis. Benjamin Francis. Always trying to uh, looks up since Francis. Francis Benjamin is going back to Abunda. Heartland, Benjamin Francis. It is still Heartland looking for that opening. And uh, it shocks to Heartland one. Francis Benjamin kick from now. It is Piapara. Piapara trying to get the ball. Oh, just that slight touch. Jonah Abutu. He tried to get a throw in off his man. Uh, but uh, that race just escaping him through the agility of Daniel Akpei. Benjamin Francis. Gideon. Francis. And uh, swings the ball across. And Clearly shows uh, how intelligent he is, but then um, perhaps uh, he needs to work harder to just get the ball in the net. End of Obi Nawanchuku without fouling him. Man operating is suffering from a bout of malaria. Salami, it was who got that equalizer. And uh, that was almost a mistake there, but in the end, he turned it into some good stuff. Benjamin Francis, that's not the best chance you will say. Um, in the in the boxes, close to the goalkeeper, close to the goal, uh, reminds me of um, uh, the kind of goal uh, scored by.